Today is gonna be a good day today. Kids, what? Hello friends. Welcome back. This is like my fourth video I filmed today and I just keep changing my outfit so I'm kind of losing it. But that's part of the fun, right? So I am super excited about today's video. I will link Ariane's channel up here as well as down below. She's the first person I saw to do this so I assume she's the creator of this and I think this is so funny. Like I feel like there's not a lot of things that I think are like actually hilarious creative original ideas. <laughs> this is one of them. I love this. Please go subscribe to her. I think she's hilarious and great. She has a bougie location for her program. She's starting a week before me so by the time that you see this she might already be there. She's making her way down there right now. So please go subscribe to her. First off, she's a very funny lady. And the concept I'm talking about is your Disney bucket list in vines. So I love vine. I um, would die for vine. I grew up in like peak vine era. I, oh, all my favorite YouTubers are people who did vine. Your girl loves vine. My camera's dying now. I'm going to murder everyone. It's fine. This is my thing because we're trying not to curse on this channel now, apparently. I already did like a technical DCP bucket list, so I'll have that linked up there, but this is gonna be things that aren't on that list, because I tried to switch it up a little bit. So I have my list here, this pen, and um, we're just gonna hop right into it. This is to eat at, be our guest, and meet the beast at dinner time. Adam. I went last year, I loved it, I thought it was super super cute. One of the girls wants to go back for her birthday this year, so I have a reservation. So this is definitely on my list. Number two is to see a movie at Disney Springs, the AMC theater there, and get a massive giant popcorn, because I love that. Insert clip of me last year with the giant popcorn living my best life. For this, I already talked to someone about seeing the opening night of the new Spider-Man film. It is Wednesday, my dudes. So that is an option, or going to go see the new live action, live action, because it's all CGI, Lion King movie. <laughs> Next is to go to Sunrise Yoga. Hi, Kat. You come say hello? Come say hello. Look at how long she is now. You're doing so good. <gasps> I just spilled a whole coke, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh my gosh, no, I'm a mess. Okay, less spilled than I actually expected. But we're back in pajama pants because I think most of it landed on my lap. What I was going to say is Sunrise Yoga. Release all of those sounds that are trapped in your mind. <laughs> I did it last year, it was super cute. They gave us a yoga mat, it's very adorable. I use it all the time, so I'd love to do that again. So I mentioned this before, and I don't know if I actually talked specifically about the ride, but I do still want to go to Universal, which I've said before, but I want to go after June 3rd, I believe, so I can go on the new Harry Potter ride. I stole this one from Liam, who also did this video, and I'll leave it down below. And he said he wants to go to one of the dance parties and actually want to work one of the dance parties. Hi, I'm Renata Bliss, and I'm your freestyle dance teacher. So the most common one I can think of is the chipmunk dino dance party and Dak, I think that would be super fun to work or if they have some more in like Magic Kingdom, that would be super fun as well. Spend Canada Day in the Canada Pavilion. Oh, this guy's cutting me off. Hey, try not to do that. I almost honked out of me. This is like the first thing I plan to book off once I have access to the hub is to try and request off Canada Day. It's so fun. We all wear our red and white and our maple leaves and our flags and put like red makeup on. Super, super fun. So I want to do Canada there. And I also already have a La Salle reservation as well for that day. Visit the water parks. Hello. I specifically want to visit Typhoon. Obviously it is my home park. That was my first location. I love it there, but I do want to see Blizzard Beach as well. So visit both of the water parks. Happy birthday! Go to Jelly Rolls. 
sale! I love jelly rolls. I know it's like an acquired taste, I guess. Some people like aren't into the piano and aren't into live music and aren't into the 50 drunk white girls that are there. But I love jelly rolls, so I do want to start doing as many Sundays as possible at jelly rolls. Go to Toy Story Land immediately and get the vegan tachos from Woody's Lunchbox. They are so good. I smell like beef. I smell like beef. I smell like beef. If y'all want to see a video on my favorite vegan and vegetarian treats, hit me up because I'm happy to do that. But oh my gosh, they're so good. Drink around the world. Then in here, two shots of vodka. I'm actually wearing my Drink Around the World shirt right now just because this is a comfy shirt that I wear. But I definitely want to drink around the world. I think I only actually drank in like Mexico and France last year because I was scared of alcohol and I still am. But I do want to drink and then also eat around the world. And then related to that, I am hitting Flower and Garden at the beginning of my program. But I also want to go to Food and Wine because it starts August 30th, I believe, at the end of my program. So I want to do Flower and Garden and food and wine. Yo, what are we about to do? Yo, drink this vodka down the hatch, come on. Have a rainy day in the parks. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. This is pretty much going to happen because it always rains in Florida, but I love just like being in a park and it's like torrential downpour and you're like wet and you don't care and everything's a mess and everyone looks like a greasy, sweaty, rained on heap of garbage. I love that. So I want to spend like a nice rainy day in the parks, preferably Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom. I want to try all of the new snacks. I feel like every single day Disney Food Blog is posting something new. So I really want to get my hands on the peanut butter and jelly little Mickey thing from Flower and Garden. Oh. <laughs> Does it feel good? Uh. But I also want to try the new Mickey strawberry milkshake that's at... Magic Kingdom, and then also the Hollywood Studios 30th anniversary stuff is super, super cute. So if that is still there when I'm there, I'm gonna get my grimy little hands on all the snacks. Two that are both spooky ones. I did mention my last time that I do want to do um, one of the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween parties. Look at, look at, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. And then another spooky one, I've seen people do this where they ride like one ride all day. And I think it was Liam who said he wanted to do Haunted Mansion all day. I want to see how many times I could ride Tower of Terror in a day because I love Tower of Terror. <laughs> I want to Disney bound or even like dress up nice one day in the parks. I'm a pretty casual person. I'm a t-shirt and like legging kind of gal, but at least once I want to dress up like a real adult and take cute photos in the parks just because, you know? I talked about this on Twitter. I literally had a nightmare the other day that I woke up from where it was my last day of my program and I looked down and I was still just as pale as I am now because I am actually like the color of paper almost. Not so pale. You're on it. Today's snow is crippling much of the Washington lowlands. So I would like to get a tan. And then the last thing on my list, which again, I think I might have mentioned last time, but I don't really remember, is I do want to experience Star Wars land. Turn off the flash, you fucking moron. Whether this be through a cast preview, like I got to see Toy Story Land last year before any normal people, non-cast media people, you know what I'm saying. But whether it be through that or just me staying after my program and going on like opening day or a couple days afterwards, I do, do, do want to experience uh, Galaxy's Edge for Star Wars Land. That is it. That is my additional list of things that I want to try out and their corresponding vines. Like I said, this is not my idea. I do not take credit for this idea. I will have her link down below and I will also have Liam link down below. He did this video as well. If you just want to watch more funny ones, I tried not to overlap a ton vine wise with them. I have a few, I think. For the most part, I want to have like new ideas and new vines so you can go watch theirs and get new stuff from them too. If you have a program coming up, even if you've already done your DCP buck list, please do this and send it to me because I will watch it because I think they are hilarious. <laughs>